in investigators into police. And it goes on and on. But the point is, the cop is saying, unless you've been in a situation that the cop has been in, then you shouldn't be allowed to judge the cop. That means that cops should be allowed to cover for themselves no matter what. And let's face it, a lot of good cops have screwed up. They have. They've screwed up. And maybe they got away with it. But they only get away with it as long as they're willing to cover for when the other cop deliberately screws up. And there's a difference. There's always the difference of motive. And at the end of the day, it convicts us all, does it not? And that, friends, you know what that does. That brings us to the dumdy of the day. And our dumdy of the day, of course, is a great dumdy. Otherwise, it wouldn't have won. Now, let me say before I do this... If you do not know the show, let me tell you, we do what's called the Dunce Cap of the Month Award, and we do it every month. What we do is we send a Dunce Cap, as we do our theme music, we send a Dunce Cap to anyone that earns it, whether it's a regular person like you and me, if I can get your address. Whether or not it's the president, have we done that? Yes, we have. I would, Christelle, get up here. We have sent dunce caps to the FBI. We have sent dunce caps to the Pentagon. We send them wherever it is we feel they need to go. We have sent them to feminists who thought that bleeding on themselves during a marathon, as Miss Gandhi did, was somehow helping women. We send dunce caps wherever they need to go. And the reason I'm doing this little uh, plug here is because the dunce cap of the month award is coming up. And I have never in my life, and I've said this before, but it's more true now than it's ever been, sadly. The amount of idiots that I have coming at you at the next dunce cap of the month award is through the roof. If you're a fan of any of them, you are going to love this show. Please tune in. You're going to... Laugh your ass off. It's going to be within the next uh, 10 days or so. EAG News. Teacher under fire after students create illegals go home sign in civics class. Now, the trouble with this is twofold. First of all, you are allowed to make a sign that says illegals go home if that's what you believe. And that is, uh, in fact, a civics class. Second of all, and this is where it gets twisted and complicated um some of the people that made the illegals go home sign were not in favor of sending illegals home now i'm not saying i again i i i see where trump is on that to let you know where i'm at but some people made the sign because they felt it was relevant to the news not because they agreed with me or the sign so for that reason, the, the, the dumdy is, is too deep here. You see why? Um, a North Carolina civics teacher was forced to apologize for student-made signs that hung outside his classroom as part of an assignment because they offended immigrant students and parents. One sign read, America is for Americans, another said illegals go home, the Citizen Times reported. Irwin High School teacher Jesse Reek has brought to tears as she apologized to an angry mob of parents and community members who gathered at the school Wednesday morning demanding answers after learning about the posters through social media. Reek said the posters were part of a civics assignment in which students were asked to come with come up with quote a reflection of what we see today in the news in the presidential campaign and the world around us. In other words, they weren't saying, although some of them may have been, they weren't saying illegals go home. No. What they were saying is that that, what they, that was what they saw in the media. An analogy. If I tell you that I want you to write about what you have just watched in this show, you may say, a man in a gray shirt that's blending in with his chair. The gray shirt is from uh, the Sears, the Willis Tower. It was the Sears Tower in Chicago. You'll say, I see an old school TV that Christelle needs to move up higher because it doesn't show up well in the camera and she hasn't moved it up yet. You might say that that is the hottest 
host I've ever seen. You might say, he's fat and stupid, and I am not stupid. However, that doesn't mean, it doesn't, no, no it can't. But the point is, you can't, if you ask somebody what they see, you can't condemn them for writing what they see. The point is, they are allowed to say it because it is their First Amendment right. Second of all, they're writing about what they see, not what they agreed with. It said, Reek said the posters were part of a civics assignment. It said, I want to apologize to everyone who has been hurt by my poor choice of post our class assignment in the hall, Reek told parents. Well, she reeks. She shouldn't have apologized. She should have said, get down on all fours and suck a fart out of my ass. That's what she should have said. You can rate the taste on Angie's list. I am deeply sorry for the pain I have caused to students, parents, and community members. Well, I'm not. I made a serious mistake in posting the assignment in the hall. So you know what? I give Reek the dunce cap, I give the school the dunce cap, and I give everybody that doesn't understand that a civics experiment is not necessarily your point of view a dunce cap. Because there's plenty of dunce caps to go around. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views, sponsored in part by Sticker Junkie. You want your stickers to look amazing? Go to StickerJunkie.com and your stickers will look amazing. How amazing? I don't know. I just got lucky enough to open for a national band and everybody that got a sticker was absolutely delighted with our sticker. Why? Because they were made by Sticker Junkie. That means they were made right. Good night, friends. Good night. God bless and thank you for listening. Hit share on this video. You wouldn't believe how much it actually helps us.